Hello guys, Kam Raider Bengaluru here. So today I have taken a topic, the 10 things I love about my bike. So usually you see many YouTube videos that 10 things I hate about my bike. So I am not hating my bike, I love my bike. So I am just taking this topic as 10 things I love about my bike. So I am standing at a beautiful location here that is a uh, collar this is a collar and if we take this road it will go to kgf and this that sound was so annoying <laughs> so okay this is the highway this is the this is towards bangalore and that is towards tirupati and so okay let me come to the list now so first thing is mileage so this bike has a better mileage usually what mileage would a 150cc bike give according to you you may say like 40 45 50 yes that is true but this bike is getting around 55 to 60 kilometers per liter so believe it guys it's 55 to 60 kilometers per liter and it is a 150cc bike almost similar to pulsar uh, but this is discover that's it so that is the one thing first thing i love about mileage the second thing is touring comfort yes this is the main part and this is the most what this is the most loving thing about my bike so even i have ridden pulsar 150 but i feel this bike has a better touring comfort so the position of handlebars and position of seating and the tank placement everything is perfect for touring so what else you need for touring third point is price tag so usually what is the price tag for 150cc bike so it varies from around 60 to 1 lakh yes but my bike is the cheapest 150cc bike ever so this is just a 68,000 on road price just 68,000 so even pulsar is around 78 or 82 when I asked them and even Uni unicorn 160 which was the latest launch that is also like around 90 something so compared to every 150cc bike this is the cheapest bike I could I could say if if there is any other cheapest bike please mention in the comment uh, comment so okay uh, that is the third point price tag so fourth point will be and yeah fourth point will be mirrors so usually usually you won't take this point but i love these mirrors they're perfectly placed i guess so even i have ridden many bikes uh, even i have ridden like uh, fz uh, those bikes uh, almost cover 70 percent of my body and show only 20, 20 to 30 percent of the uh, rear view but this bike uh, covers like 40 percent and the rest of the 60 percent i can see the rear view so that is the one thing i love and so fifth point would be windshield windshield or uh, those this one so you can see like uh, this one this is the windshield right so this has a good aerodynamics i guess see from here uh, air goes uh, left hand side and mirror is, uh, sorry middle part is quite clean just like this so uh, what i felt is when i rode pulsar 150 and this one so i felt uh, less wind blast in this bike so wait i will just show you from front and yes this one so this uh, doesn't look good but still uh, it has a little bit of aerodynamics so wind will go just left and right and so i don't get uh, i don't feel much wind blast in this one yes of course if i cross like 90 or 100 then of course every bike will almost every bike will get a, a give a wind blast but quite extent it is good so this is the fifth point and my sixth point would be 
This brake, yes. This bike has a better braking system. Seriously, this bike has a better braking system. I feel that one. Uh, rear brake is rear brake is not so much good, but still front brake is so awesome, guys. And my sixth point would be tires. So this gets a tubeless tire, and it is almost similar to. And yes, this these tires are very good actually. It is a little bit thick. So even if uh, tire is punctured, I can uh, ride around 40 or 50 kilometers. I guess I don't know, but. Still, uh, I haven't got any problem in this bike. So so far it is good, and I have covered almost. Uh, you can see. And sorry, you you are not able to see. Actually, I have covered around 5,800 kilometers till now, and till now I haven't got any problem with this bike. So okay, let me come to the list now. Uh, so seventh point I would like is engine sound. Yes, guys. Uh, engine sound means not every time. Usually uh, when I am on fifth gear and uh, my speed uh, increasing from 40 to 50, at that time this engine sounds pretty well, just like a jigsaw, that grunting sound. So that is the one point which I love in this one. So okay, that is this uh, eight point, and the ninth point is suspension. This has a monoshock suspension. You can see that. Yeah, it's a monoshock sus suspension, and it's good for touring as well. And I don't get any back pain in this bike. So that is the one thing. So the last point which I like is gear system. So. These gears are not so good actually, but the system is good actually. Like uh, I think so, it is built for mileage. So even after every like 10 kilometers, I have to shift the gears. Uh, 10 to 5 kilometers, just like uh, if I am on 40 kilometers uh, per hour, then I I have to shift at fifth gear. So that means fifth gear, 40 kilometers per hour means better mileage maybe i don't know but uh, gear system is very cool but though gear is so hard to push up but still i love the gear system so these are the 10 things which i love about my bike so so this is my first chain actually uh, so this chain should be continued so i am giving uh, uh, like three to four people list there so they should also make a video regarding their bike the 10 things they love about their bike so my first list would be Dinesh RP so he rides a Duke 390 bike and uh, yeah he has just started a motor vlogging so I'm I'm just telling him to do a video about 10 things he love about his bike so second list would be uh, Bank 2 WR15. So he is also one of my friend. Uh, he rides uh, Emma R15. So even he should do a video. And the third list is Daisy Rider. So Daisy Rider. So he also rides uh, Emma R15. So even. He should make a video and what else will be the last thing. So the fifth list would be sorry, fourth list would be as I ride motor vlogger. So these guys should make a video and upload it to YouTube. So thanks for watching guys. Bye bye, take care.